Alright, what's up guys? Austin Dunham back again with another video. And today is a long-awaited testing my max bench press video. As you can see here, I have my friend George here. And we're starting off on the warm-up, just doing 135 pounds. Now let me introduce George real quick. He is a friend of mine I went to high school with, and I was home from, from the break, and um, he was like, hey, let's work out. And I'm like, sure, I don't have a gym membership. So yeah, so we went in. I uh, did a workout. So today we're doing upper body chest and triceps and as you can see I'm right here warming up with 135 also And so a lot of people are really curious to see the correlation between weight training and calisthenics like if there is any correlation so Let me just tell you right now. I'd never bench press at all can't remember the last time that I did and so you'll definitely see like just by doing push-up variations and you know harder push-up variations the correlation it has with weightlifting all right so George decided to move up pretty fast and he's doing 225 right now two plates and um, next up I was like I was like nah I don't want to start off with 225 so that's why as you can see here in a minute I'm gonna go back down to 185 before I start and also George he wants to um, compete actually so I thought that was pretty cool but yeah, next I'm doing 185 and today like we didn't really have a structured plan to do We just kind of went with the flow like what we wanted to do Like I knew I wanted to test my max bench press and as you can see right here I got 185 five times and so I think we did a few dips as you'll see later But it was primarily upper body today And you know, I'm not gonna lie to you, it felt kind of kind of weird like actually bench pressing. And right here, as you can tell, then to go for that 225. All right, as you can see, the first rep was easy. Second rep, not too bad. And then the third rep, I kind of needed some help on. As you can see, my left arm's kind of pushing way more than my right arm, which I didn't expect at all. So we'll say 225 for two and a half reps. And as you can see right here, we're testing the big boy, 245 pounds. And by the way, guys, I weigh 156 pounds. And here I'm going for 245 pounds. First rep, easy. Easy, got it up second rep needed help so that pretty much explains itself honestly i think i could have gotten 250 pounds for one rep easily since i got the first rep easy on 245 with um and then the second rep i need a little bit of help so i'm gonna say that my one rep max is 250 pounds we'll go with that so i'm 156 pounds never bench i always do push-ups bodyweight training and my max bench press, let's say, is 250 pounds. I think that's pretty impressive, honestly, right? As you can see, there kind of is a correlation when it comes to calisthenics to weightlifting, but the reverse is not true. Weightlifting and calisthenics, there pretty much is no type of correlation. So next up, we're doing dips, as you can see, and we're actually super it with um, incline bench press, dumbbell incline bench press. So we do a set of dips, and then we go over and we do our incline presses. So I got a challenge for all you bodyweight athletes out there. If you can find a gym or go to a gym and test out your max bench press after only doing push-ups or whatever, and let me know what you get. I read somewhere like if you can do a planche, then you can bench like twice your weight or something like that. And I can hold a planche. I can do planche push-ups. So that's what I attribute to most of those strength gains. And I don't think I mentioned George weight actually. He told me he was around 190 pounds, around that area. He's um, finna start doing a cut for his show coming up. And um, he w he's like 5'10", just like uh, 5 foot 10 inches around that area. So 
so we're still doing incline presses i actually want to um, work on my upper chest a bit more i might integrate either this or some upper chest body weight exercises to get more of my upper chest popping Sometimes you just gotta show off, you know? I felt really, really strong on those dip bars. I don't know what it was, like, maybe I didn't eat a lot that day, but I felt really, really strong on those dip bars. All right, next we're doing some barbell bicep curls with the easy curl bar. I haven't done this in ages, let me tell you, ages. It's been so long, like, it feels weird just to be lifting weights again. But I got a really, really good pump for this. We did three sets. I haven't had a pump like that in a while because primarily honestly I train for strength so I do usually low reps so I never get that like pump effect of like bodybuilding so it was nice to change it up you know just a little bit for a while you know change does not hurt every once in a while But overall, it was a really fun workout. We're gonna finish it up with shoulder press, and I'm actually glad that I finally got to test my max bench press for you guys. A lot of people have been asking. So if you did enjoy this video, please give a thumbs up, and also be sure to subscribe to the channel for future videos, and I hope to see you guys soon. So just let me know what else you want me to text, test in the gym if you want me to test any more maxes or anything weightlifting-wise. So that's pretty much it, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.